All righty, it's uh, Big John with Backstage 360 here talking to Greg Douglas at this amazing event that uh, that you've been invited to, and you've, you've shown up, and you're going to be playing with a Steve Miller tribute band called Spaced Cowboys. Spaced Cowboys. That's, <laughs> yes, that, that's correct. It's, uh, actually, the, the name is still up in the air right now. Uh, it was originally Space Cowboys, okay. then it became Spaced Cowboys, which, you know, get, given some of my history, may have connotations that we don't want to have, uh, you know, we'll talk off attached. camera, we'll talk off camera yeah, about we'll, we'll that. We'll do that, yeah. We've also come up with a possible name, The Pompatus of Love. Oh, which, no, I like that. I, yeah, you see? The Pompatus of Love. The Pompatus I've always, of Love. I've always wondered, what does that mean? Now, there is a definition. Really? Yeah. Yeah, us, the band. You there know? you go. What is the pompous of love? It's, you know, uh, a bunch of Canadians and some old American guy. <laughs> that well, is, this, this old American guy being Greg Douglas, man, you've yeah. done everything from For, the acid rock band of the, the Virtues that ended up being the Country Weather to Steve Miller to uh, Greg Kinban and... I, re I read somewhere that you did some type of mantra type meditation music as well. Tell me about that. I went through kind of a uh, a spiritual um, experience. Rather, I, I was I was having some some substance abuse uh, problems, and instead of doing you know the standard uh, twelve step thing, I ended up um, doing an alternative thing that it involved a kind of a uh, it involved a substance uh, called ibogaine from uh, from Africa, huh. and uh, it's 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 a, a valid spiritual experience. <laughs> that wasn't me, by the way. Okay. <laughs> we had a little a little introduction from the San Diego Harbor. <laughs> okay, well there you go. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> So we're talking about all your styles of music and all the different things you've been a part of, but you've also done some work with like meditation mantra music and stuff. And you said that had a little bit to do with your background and issues you had at the time? I had, yeah, I, I had some, uh, you know, I picked up some bad habits on the road, yeah. which is not unusual for a person in my profession. And uh, I dealt with it by using uh, something called ibogaine, which is a root that the, the natives in Gabon, Africa, use as a spiritual rite of passage. And you're, not, you're not considered a human being there uh, until you take the stuff. What, what is the stuff, what, what is it, like, what does it do for you? It's a psychedelic, but what happens is it, 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 you trip for about eight hours, heavily, and you come out of it and you have no desire to do drugs anymore. You have no desire to to do uh, to eat bad food. Wow! It's it's incredible. It, so how long ago did this happen? Where you were part of this? Two thousand three. Two thousand and three. And so since then, you've uh, I've noticed that when I, like when I read your bio, I felt from just reading your words how positive and how relaxed that you are now and you seem to transmit that in everything you do including this event the this 70s show tell me about how you met rich singley and how you got involved in this well rich and i uh, met at one of uh, actually we met at the very first six Sering society event that i went to and i was actually there as a guest of of uh, kenneth kenneth rex road oh, okay. And just to kind of see if I'd like to be involved with it, and I, I met uh, met Rich at that that event. And I'm, other than the fact that the guy is just an insanely funny person and just you know a, a sweetheart of a human being, he uh, he's also involved in doing some very good work with. Yeah, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and the Man of the Year Award, and this event is here to try to raise fifty thousand dollars. So. Uh, having a name as powerful as you behind it, hopefully we can draw on enough people and get that kind of money raised. So how do you feel about that right now? Like, what, what are your prospects about the tonight and how we're going to do? Well, if, if whatever level of celebrity I have is going to, you know, and I don't consider myself to be a, a, a huge celebrity. I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, about the level of Mel Gibson's pool guy. You know? Well, what's interesting about that is you've 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 been involved with uh, some hit songs like Jungle Love and Jeopardy, and you, yeah. but you still manage to kind of slide under the radar, even with all those accolades and all the all the the positive things, and you've even been quoted as being or 
I, uh, somebody's been quoted as saying that you are the best electric guitar they've ever seen on stage. Yeah, I was I was present when when the when the guy said that, and you know, first of all, he was sober, and uh, <laughs> well, that's good. And, yeah, he was sober, and he I checked him out online. He's a great guitarist. The guy was just an insanely good. Uh, actually, he's, he's an acoustic player, top notch. But uh, I, I, uh, I'm just happy at this stage of my life. I'm I'm 66 years old. And don't look a day over 65. Well, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll tell my plastic surgeon that <laughs> they are so fired. <laughs> I, it's. I see people, I used to see these, these old, sad musicians, man, and they just kind of seem, they seem so desperate. And, and I, you know, I, I'm having kind of a second career, um, you know, doing things like this, the Steve Miller, the Steve Miller thing. Yeah. Uh, I was never really able to pull off something like this, but the, you know, the Daring Greatly guys uh, made it possible, because you, you need, those those vocals those big vocals yeah and we'll be talking with them later but they've got an incredible story too behind where they've come from where their name means and it's a father-son band i mean they're incredible and and to hear that you got hooked up with them and was that something that rich set up or was that something that kind of just happened with you and and uh and them it it kind of happened right about the same time i i spoke with somebody uh and you know about some other project and they said well we're not interested in that but why don't you why don't you do a steve miller tribute thing and well obviously that i can see why they would say that yeah but i i you know i didn't i wasn't working with uh vo you know a set of vocals that would be able to pull that off that was about two days before i met the daring greatly guys and then you you met these guys, and then they just blow you away with how well. Because I heard them warming up just before we got to talk to you, and they sound amazing. So oh, yeah. they've totally got it down, man. And you know, I'm so spoiled right now because you know I've got I've got this thing going on. I've also got uh, my own band, the Greg Douglas Band, which you know I think is you know as good a classic rock band as there is in Southern California. Well, where do you play? Where do you play around right now? Uh, well, we're doing a a concert at the the Carlsbad Village Theater uh, in Carlsbad, 125 uh, State Street, and we are going to be uh, filming the whole thing. Nice. Is this going to be a live filming, or are yeah. you going to? Live filming. It's May 22nd, uh, from six to eight, and it's going to be a great show. We are also. Um, we have, the web, we have a website, uh, www.gregdouglasguitar.com, that uh, tells everything that I'm doing. T talks about what, everything that my band is doing, all the side projects I'm doing. Speaking of which, I have a new CD coming out. When's that coming out? Uh, that'll come be out in about nine days. What is that going to emulate? Like, what style of, of uh, what type of style of music are you going to have for the CD? Well, it started off, years ago, I put out uh, a set of acoustic guitar stuff, because I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty proficient uh, fingerstyle player. So I was going to do another one of those. And then um, I, I met this guy who um, from England who was a, a songwriter. And we started writing songs together. And the, pro the project went, took a whole different, whole different direction. Uh, we brought in a, a rhythm section um, that you know, some guys I'd worked with before, and the name of the project is Greg Douglas and the Accomplices. That's a good name. I like that. And uh, it's, you know what? It's it's. I've never been prouder of anything that I've done, and that's not just hype. It is it is really high quality music. Well, I gotta say it's impressive. You're you're 66 year old. You you look healthy. As healthy as a horse, well, I'm, I'm, you, you I'm, look like you feel amazing. You're bouncing around this place, this <laughs> music box on a Thursday evening. You're bouncing around like you're 22 years old. Well, I'm, I also, you know, I, I married a nutritionist, so you know, <laughs> you know, and she 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 keeps me healthy, man. It's it's incredible. I get up every morning. She gives me these pills and these you know these weird uh, drinks. I don't I don't know what they are. You know, it might be some sort of poison. You know, but. Uh, 
like you say, I'm I'm still uh, I'm still bouncing around and, and still doing my thing, and I'm I'm just I'm having a better time now than I've ever had before. That's uh, good. Because I have perspective. Yeah. I have perspective. I look back at what I've done. It's a pretty decent ba uh, body of work. And decent uh, to say the least. Yeah. I mean, you got a couple, you know, number one international hits up there, and that's all. It's nice, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Not not many people can say that. There no, were, they can. There, there were a lot of years where I took it for granted. I said, Yeah, yeah, who cares? You know, it, it's, it's an accomplishment. Well, I'm glad to see you're out and about. You're busy. You got your own group. You're here tonight with the Music Box. It's so awesome to have you out. Oh, We're going to be at the you. show in, in May, and we'll definitely be a part of that. Great. Uh, Backstage Great. 360, be happy to be a part of that. That so, would be wonderful. It was definitely a pleasure talking to you, okay, Greg. Likewise. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today. All right. And we'll uh, see you on the flip side. Yes, sir. I'm Big John with Backstage 360. We've been sitting here with Greg Douglas, formerly of the Great Kin Band, as, as well as Steve Miller Band, here at the Music Box in downtown San Diego.